Hey guys, welcome back. So welcome to a brand new series for the Nvidia Shield and I will be creating a separate series for the Fire Stick and Fire TV. And this series is all about the best applications. So as you can imagine, there really are just a ton of applications out there. Applications for your video based content, um, utilities, uh, applications to make your device run faster, applications to manage your drive space and just so and so forth guys. So lots of applications out there. I'll share with you my five for this month and you guys can let me know in the comments of other applications I should review for the next episode. So with all of that being said, Let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So the first application is called File Chef, and I'll describe this as an all-in-one or meta-like search engine. So as we can see here, we have the ability to search for uh, videos, for music, audio, uh, images, uh, GIFs, books and documents, software and games, and also Android applications. So let's just try that for a second. So let's go to the top here. Let's click here. And let's say, for example, I'm searching for, um, let's say we're searching for MX player. So let's just type that in. Okay, so we've typed in MX player. Let's click on finished. Let's scroll down. And I'm now going to click on Android applications because the only search results I'm interested in are Android applications. So let's click on that. Let's go to the top and let me now just click on the search icon on the top right. And you'll then see a prompt asking you which browser do you want to use with this application. Now, the reason why I recommend installing Firefox is Firefox does not give you any limitations in terms of what you can download. As we know, with the latest version of Puffin TV, they have actually blocked downloads. But if you do install Firefox, you won't have any of those limitations. So I'm going to select always, which means always use Firefox with this application. And here are the results, guys. So we can see we have multiple different open directories, which are directories which don't require any kind of credentials. So I can scroll down in the list. Let's just go down. I guess here I can see giant list of um, applications. And in here we should see, if I scroll down, we should see MX Player. Here it is. So for example, I can now click on that. And we can see that's actually a very recent upload. So I can click on that. And I can now say I want to download this. So click on always, give that permission. And that application is now downloading directly onto my device. So it really is very easy to find applications out there. Now, just as a word of warning, I do always recommend doing a quick virus check. So you can use the virus total website or even the virus total mobile application to scan any application before you install it. So that's the application install. The other big thing, and it's probably the main thing about FileChef, is the ability to search for video based content. So if I go back to that now, so let's say, for example, uh, we're searching for uh, a trailer, for example. So let's go up here now and let's just type something else in. So we're searching for this. Okay, let's click on finished. And let's now take off this because we're not searching for Android applications. And let's scroll up and say we're now looking for video based content only. So let's click on that. And once again, let's go to the top and let me click on search. Okay, so again, it goes back to Firefox. And we can see, guys, we have a massive, massive list of different open directories all serving that particular content we just searched for. So if I just scroll down, uh, let's just try this one over here. Now, the great thing is because of the type of content it is, you can literally click on something and that will start streaming directly to your device. Or you can also download this content directly onto your device. So if, for example, you want to build up um, a library of um, trailers, for example, you can click and download that content directly onto your device. Or for most of you who just want to stream the content, I can click on, for example, uh, this trailer over here. And within one second, we can see that starts playing directly on my device. So no need to wait for any kind of downloading, no need to see any pop-ups or adverts, literally one click, and you can now start enjoying all of these trailers. And we can see, guys, I mean, that was just one link. If I go back up here, there's literally just, you know, pages and pages of, you know, links that you could um, use to, uh, you know, build up your uh, trailers. Okay, let's back out of that. 
FastChef is a great application. It's very, very easy to use, and it is a great all-in-one search engine for your software, for your applications, for your video-based content, and all that stuff. The next application in the list is called Me Explorer, and this really is a great all-in-one file explorer or a file manager. Now, lots of you have been expanding your internal storage by using USB drives or flash drives. So as we start manipulating or you know playing about with our storage, it really is a great file manager to you know manage all of that. Now, another good thing about this application is is you can use it with the standard remote control where the last application it does work a bit better with an air mouse so on the left here you've got your main bookmarks so for example i can say i only want to see all of the applications on my device i can click on that and we can now see with a nice overall view all of the applications all over my device so we can see there is things in different folders different places but this gives you a great overall view of all of those applications and for example, if I want to uh, delete some of them, let's just select this one here, so press and hold, and this one, and this one. So we can see we've now selected three applications which total up to 107 megabytes. If I go to the top here, I now have options to delete this content, I can copy this content, I can cut this out and maybe paste it into another folder. In fact, let's do this now. So let's say I wanna cut this out from my internal storage. Let's go to the left here. And here we can see I've actually got my USB drive. So I can click on that and I can go into my application folder. I can go to the top here and I can now paste that content. So and there it is guys. So very, very easy to copy, very, very easy to cut and paste. So it really is a great way for you to manipulate your files, access your files and basically manage your storage a lot better. You also have these bookmarks on the left here. So let's say I'm now looking for all of the video content. I can click on that. That shows you all of these videos are previously downloaded. And of course, if you want to play something, I can just click on this and that starts playing straight away. So let's back out of that. So that's the second application, which is Me Explorer. The next application is called Happy Chick, and I would describe this as an all-in-one emulator for your classic retro gaming console. So your 8-bit consoles like the NES, the Mars System, you know, Game Boy, onto your 16-bit like your Sega Mega Drive, Super Nintendo, or Super Famicom, and so on and so forth. But what really sets this application apart is, is it actually has the ability to find those ROMs for you. So typically on other emulators, you have to find the ROMs manually yourself. So either through a Google search or through different means. Whereas in this application, you just search the games that you want to play, and this application will actually find those ROMs for you. So I do think that's a killer feature of this application. Now, when you start the application, this is what you will see. On the top left, you get to see the ranking. So this will basically show you the highest ranking games across all of the different platforms. So here we can see we have Super Mario on the original Nintendo. Uh, you have this game over here on the Super Nintendo and so on and so forth. And the green label where it says smooth is just telling you that via an emulator, what kind of performance you can expect. So, and most of these games you can see guys, they do have, you know, smooth. So they should be pretty easy to play. So for example, if I want to play uh, this game over here, this Dungeons and Dragons, let's click on that. So I'm using the Nvidia Shield gaming controller, but you can program in any other controller that you like. And we can see guys, we get the option to download. So I can just click on that. And it says that that's now downloading directly onto my device. So I didn't need to go online or search the internet or anything like that. I can just choose the game and we can see that starts downloading straight away. Let's just give that a second. And let's now click on launch. And we also get the ability to customize the keys. So if I click on customize keys, I can now basically choose which buttons do I want to map for all of these. So what's going to be my left trigger? Let's click on that. And now let's press the left trigger. And that says that our setting is now saved. Let's just do the right trigger. That's done. And let's just make sure we have the up, down, left, and right. So, and the most important ones, guys, are the start and select because on most of these emulators, the way you add in a virtual coin is by pressing the select button. So let's click on that now. And I'll have this as my select. And I'll have this as my start. Okay, that's now all done. Let's back out of that. Okay, let's click on launch. Let's see if that actually works first time. And let's just do normal game. And there it is, guys. We're now playing this classic retro game on our NVIDIA Shield. And I can now start slaying all of these naughty goblins. Uh, uh, do I have a super move? Uh, these two together. There you go. Uh, uh, uh. And that's working absolutely fine. Let's just free those prisoners. Uh. Okay, so that's the third application which is Happy Chick. The next application we have is the Aurora Store. Now, if somebody asked me what's one of the first applications you should install on any official 
Android TV device, well, I would definitely say the Aurora Store is one of them simply because unlike the standard Play Store you get on your Android TV device, which we know is very, very limited, you only see a very, very small subset of applications, the Aurora Store will give you access to the entire Play Store. And I really do mean the entire Play Store. And the way it does that is it has a built-in mechanism to actually spoof your device. So even though I'm doing this on my NVIDIA Shield, we can see here I can install applications like WhatsApp, um, like BBC News. These applications that are not typically available on the standard Google Play Store, we can now access all of them with just pretty much one click. Now, when you start the application for the first time, you won't see these applications like this. This is actually what you'll see when you do first log in because it knows that your device is an NVIDIA Shield or an official Android TV device. And then based on that, it then shows you these official Android TV applications. But because we want to access more than that, we just go to the hamburger menu, go to spoof, and here where it says pretend to be your original device, I can click on that. And I now have the option to spoof any of these devices. So I'm gonna go for a Google Pixel 2, click on that, click on apply, let's log out. Now it's a good time to mention that you can actually log in using your own Google credentials. And it is something that I have done before just to prove that it works. Now the reason why you may want to do that is, let's say for example, you purchased an application or a game before, now, whichever account that you used, as long as you log back in using that same account, you can then download the application without any extra charges. But for now, let's go for anonymous. And we can see straight away, guys, we now have access to all these other applications, things like TikTok and uh, Instagram, things that you wouldn't typically get on an Android TV device. We can now install all of them with pretty much one click. So let's say, for example, I want to install uh, this game over here. Click on install. And we can see that's now installed OK. Once again, Aurora Store is a fantastic application, gives you access to the entire Play Store, and I highly recommend it. Now, the last application for this episode is called TV Usage. Now, you may have seen something like this on your smartphone, and, and it basically shows you exactly how you're using your device, which applications you're spending the most time on, and just the kind of stuff you're doing on there. So uh, let's give that permission because basically we have to give this application access to the usage permission so you can basically see what's going on. So let's go down to special app access. Here's usage access. Let's now give this application access to that. Okay, let's click on that. Let's press the back button, back again. And here it is guys, I now get a nice summary telling me exactly how long I've spent on my NVIDIA Shield today, which applications I've spent the most time on. For example, we can see that the Aurora Store has been the most used on my device and it's been used by 17 minutes. Now, of course, these numbers are very low because I've only just installed the application, but if you leave this running on your device for a week or so, it will give you some really good stats just so you can see you know, where you're spending the time, which applications you know take up your time, which stuff you're currently using and so on and so forth. You also get a summary on the left just telling you exactly how long you used device for today which is an hour and 37 minutes and of course your total weekly usage as well now if you click on an application so let's click on a happy chick and you get a nice graph there which again guys obviously you can't really appreciate this because i've only just installed it but after a couple of days you know you should get some really good data you should get some nice graphs some nice stats and just see exactly how you're using these applications now one of the other cool things you can do is you can actually set a limit so let's say for example I'm just spending way too much time in a downloader. Let's click on that. And I can say I'm going to limit this application so I can only use this. And let's just say, for example, I'm going to limit myself with one minute. So let's click on set because there's a screen limit time has been set successfully. Let's back out of that. Now, the other cool thing you can do is if you go to your settings and we have two options here. So we have the screen limit overlay and we also have a pin code. Now, the first option when you enable it will show you on the top of your application that your time limit is reached. And you also have the ability to set a pin code. So once the time limit is reached and you want to reset the counter, you'll have to enter in this special pin code to do that. So let's also turn that on. And let's just do a top secret uh, pin code of one, two, three, four. Don't tell anyone. Um, and let's click on enable. Okay, we've now set a pin code and we've set the daily usage for downloader to be one minute. So let's now open that up. Let's see if that actually works. Uh, okay, so even though I've set the limit to be one minute, because I've already used downloader today, I've actually already gone past that, which is why we've got that message at the top saying that we can't use this application anymore. So how can we do that now? Well, let's go back to TV usage and we're going to reset this counter now. So let's go in here. And when we set the screen limit for one minute, 
I'm going to click on reset. And we now need to enter in that special pin code. So that's one, two, three, and four. Let's unlock that. And we now have no screen limit. So I really do think this is a really nice application, guys, especially once you have installed it for a week or so, you will get some really nice, really detailed stats on exactly what you're doing on your device. Okay, so let me now show you how you can install all these applications on your device. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is open up Downloader. Now, guys, if you don't know how to download via Downloader because you keep getting a message that downloading is not supported, please have a look at the pinned comment because I've created a special video on exactly how you can enable downloads again. But for now, let's type in my website address, which is http colon forward slash forward slash bit dot ly forward slash tduk. That's me. And the number is 2019. Let's type that in and click on go. Now, when you get to my site, you want to scroll down and you want to click on the hamburger menu and you're looking for the tutorials because I have created a dedicated tutorial for this video, which will have all of the applications mentioned. It'll give you some extra information about them and give you direct download links. So let's click on that, click on tutorials, and let's open up the first tutorial in the list. And here we can see all of the applications here, guys. So we can see there's File Chef, some information about it, then a direct download link, Me Explorer, and so on and so forth. So let's say, for example, I want to download uh, Me Explorer. Let's click on this download link here, scroll down, and click on the green download button and that will come down directly onto your device and we can click on install and that's now all ready to go so i hope you did like this video guys as mentioned this is going to be a new series so i'm going to be looking out for some great applications and of course i'll be looking to you guys to leave me comments below and let me know other applications i should be checking out and i can review them for episode two so that's all for this video guys many thanks for watching and many thanks for staying till the end if you did find this video useful then please do give me a thumbs up if you want to see more stuff like this then please do think about subscribing and hit the notification bell as always i always appreciate your likes your shares your comments so do let me know what you think leave me a comment below and i'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon thanks